Hey guys, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I am super excited to do today's video because you guys have asked me over and over, almost daily, Ken, how do you get those killer vocal sounds that you get on your YouTube videos? And I have a confession to make. I have a secret weapon. That weapon? is the Neumann M149. We're gonna talk about this microphone. And by the way, I am not some gear whore, gear slut guy that you know does a lot of, gets endorsements and you know promotes a bunch of stuff they don't believe in. This is the only microphone that I've promoted of one that I use personally on my channel in the 12 years that my channel has been around. We're coming up on 150 million views, we're coming up on a million subscribers, and like a thousand videos that we've done all using this microphone, or at least the ones when I do my own personal vocal demonstration. So, uh, and the reason for that is I think this is the best vocal mic on the planet, straight up. Now, um, it's a German company, Neumann. You need to look them up, we're gonna talk about this. I'm gonna put all the stuff in the description so it'll be easy to find and um, I'm gonna go through some singing videos I'm gonna talk a lot about exactly how I get the tones that I get so hang in there with me don't don't leave it's gonna be a little bit of a longer video because I want to be able to give you guys the goods you ask me how I get the tones I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna physically show you okay now what qualifies me to uh, make the statement I think this is the greatest mic and actually the greatest mic company in the world in fact I think uh, with German excellence and I think the Germans um, that have made Literally, the whole Neumann um, uh, line isn't just for singing mics, but they make all kinds of different microphones. I won't get time to talk about all of that, but I do want to let you know that they've got a lot of really cool stuff, and I'm going to cover a couple little other things other than this mic, hopefully, if I, their time permits here. But um, the first thing is, is that um, this thing can handle a load. And I don't mean a change in a baby's diaper. <laughs> no, really, I can scream into this thing and it is so forgiving and so warm and can literally handle anything I can throw at it. Now I was gonna talk about what qualifies me uh, to say that this is the greatest mic in my company, in my opinion, in the world. Well, guys, as you know, I've got 40 records out, four zero. I think that might even be more than the Rolling Stones. I don't know, I have to look that up. Um, 40 records out, I've placed hundreds of songs in film and television. You can go to imdb.com, internet movie database, and look at a bunch of this stuff. They don't have everything I've done, but everything from Baywatch to the X-Files. I mean, I've done film and TV for years, for years, um, and have had a chance to experiment with a lot of pieces of gear. I've also worked with some of the greatest audio engineers in the world. In fact, one of them is Mick Gazowski. I spent almost a year with him making my Magdalene record. Um, you probably know him from uh, Daft Punk. He won a Grammy for that, but Mick has done a lot of stuff. Look him up, Mick Gazowski. Uh, incredibly, maybe one of the greatest mix engineers in the world. Just a fantastically talented guy. And I got to see all the stuff that he used, you know? Um, I worked with Eddie Kramer. You guys probably remember him from Led Zeppelin, right? A lot of stuff, you know, but I'm giving some of the bigger you know, names. Uh, Andy Johns also worked with Led Zeppelin. I got a chance to work with him. Uh, we've got uh, Bob Ezrin. I've worked with Bob, um, not just on the Kiss album that I worked on, but Bob's done Pink Floyd, The Wall, I mean, you name it. Incredible, incredibly talented uh, engineer producer. Um, and then Dieter Dirks of the Scorpions. I got to work with Dieter for a while. So I've worked with a lot of guys. So um, I'm not just coming unqualified, some YouTube guy just spouting off. You know, I've, I've got a, a lot of history. So anyway, um, because I've been privileged to uh, use a lot of microphones, I've also owned a lot of microphones. And most of the mics that I've had have been kind of one trick ponies. Let me explain that. So you get one mic and it does one thing, good, you know, I mean, yeah. Um, but you rarely find one mic that does everything good, except for this bad boy, straight up. I'm gonna talk about the different positions of the mics, but I think one of the most important things is I'm gonna go through some songs of myself singing and my students singing. I'm gonna take you on a little musical journey, okay? So stay with me, guys. I promise this will be worth your time. If you really wanna know about this, it will be worth your time, okay? Um, so all of, this, all of the uh, clips that you're about to see are just this microphone through a preamp that I use called an Avalon 737 SP. Now I know Neumann has a new killer preamp coming out. Um, I'm not gonna get a chance to talk about that here maybe another time, but I do wanna uh, address some of, of the uh, other Neumann products because it's it's really important. Like I said, German excellence. These guys, you know, they have a passion for excellence, which is killer. Um, and, and by the way, I sort of think of this as like the crown jewel of microphones, like the creme de la creme. So um, for me, it's like way up the totem pole of like the microphone to get, right? straight up. So you're asking me my opinion and I'm giving it to you. If you really want to know the goods, this is the goods, okay? So anyway, getting back to this, so you're going to hear this microphone 
through the same preamp, an Avalon 737, with little or no EQ, even though the Avalon does have EQ, it's a single mono um, a mic pre, and a little compression. And sometimes the compression changes, uh, depending on how loud and you know whatnot. Um, and, and then two different rooms, only two rooms. So it's not like a bunch of different rooms, a bunch of different environments all the same environment, okay? So really get your brain around that. Not a lot of effects, I don't use a lot of effects. In fact, I was accused of that, oh, you use a ton of effects. Actually, I don't. You don't need to use a ton of effects. If you've got a killer microphone doing all your work for you and it is gloriously sweet, it doesn't matter. Look, watch this. Hey, right? With the different settings on the mic, it just is like idiot proof, straight up. I mean, it's so forgiving and you can have so many different settings. That's why I use it so much. And one more thing, by the way, Norman's gonna hate me for saying this, but um, I beat the crap out of this thing. And what do I mean by that? I have played Marshalls into this thing so loud you can't even believe it. I've had this thing since 2000, I think, um, 2001, 2000. I have beat the snot out of this thing and used the crap out of it. In fact, the preamp is a tube preamp. I've accidentally left the preamp going on vacation for like a couple weeks, come back, out. Oops, I left on the preamp because a little green light is kind of hard to see sometimes, right? Like, turn it off. Gee, I wonder when I have to replace the tube. I've never even had to replace the tube on this thing in all these years. This thing takes a licking and keeps on ticking straight up. So the durability alone of this thing is amazing. And I've had a lot of microphones I've had to take in. Really good ones, expensive ones. And, you know, I can, I'm a man of means. I can choose whatever I want. It's not like I, you know, I have to use a certain thing. No, I choose this microphone. It's not that I, I've got it within my budget or whatever. We're going to talk about that too towards the end. So it doesn't matter uh, if it's, you know, a hard rock song I'm singing. It doesn't matter if I'm singing really intimate and soft. Doesn't matter if it's an R&B thing. But the other cool thing about this microphone is that it's its ability to handle bandwidth and range. Okay, and air, air. I'll get to that in a second. So bandwidth. So. I have a lower register voice. In fact, I'm going to give uh, the first sample I'm going to put up is I'm going to do uh, White Snakes, Here I Go Again. And you're going to see me sing White Snakes, Here I Go Again, just a little piece of it. And the reason I chose that is, you know, that kind of sums me up as a singer. I love David Coverdale. You don't know who it is. Go find out. The band's name's White Snake. Um, but anyway, he's maybe one of the greatest rock singers of all time. And I'm going to start up with the verses where there's, it's more intimate, right? So I'm going to put a setting on there and we're going to talk about settings here in one second. But I uh, uh, changed the setting so it can allow more room or less room into the sound, right? So I, I have to be either real directional or I can open it up. I can open it up all the way to where I can have someone else singing on the other side. And I'm gonna show that to you guys too in a minute. The other thing too is about handling the load, not just in frequency, but if I put a girl on this microphone with a really high pitched range, other microphones can't handle it. So if I'm using, and again, I don't want to beat up other microphone companies, but if I use another well-known microphone that I used to own and put up a smaller diaphragm, it gets really harsh and shrill and just annoying, and it's not a very beautiful sound, whereas this bad boy can handle the whole spectrum and the whole range of all the different frequencies that I throw at it, okay? So there's that. Now, air, too, if you notice, it's not having something called plosive. <laughs> where I hit it with air. Now, of course, if I get close enough and I scream into it, it's gonna have a plosive, which is a, you know hitting air really hard and having the mic kind of distort and back off. But um, the reason I say that too is because I've had a lot of YouTube, or you people on YouTube saying, you know, gosh, Ken, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm want to learn and I want to hear and see what you're doing with your mouth and your throat and this and that, but you've covered it with a windscreen and I can't see you. So I've actually created settings with this microphone where I can open up the microphone so it can handle the load of air, where I can sink pretty heavy into it at a certain distance, get still get the presence that I'm looking for, still get the clarity that I'm looking for and all the little nuances, uh, but not overload it with air. So I can remove the windscreen and I can sing into the thing so you can see me sing. Now, I don't recommend that. I recommend getting a windscreen because it's just going to save a great take if you know you have something going on you hit it with a plosive or you know you realize later oh crap I got this thing I got to fix so I'm not advocating doing that but I'm just saying it can also handle that too so we're going to go through this again one microphone one preamp an Avalon 737 it's right over there I don't know if you can see it or not and then I want to talk to you about settings so I got a brand new one right here <laughs> And this guy right here, so these are the settings. Now, I'm going to show you these. I don't want to get too close because it, it might um, go out of focus, but uh, these are these little buttons right here, okay? And each one of them, the, the first one on this side, I call it little dick nose. <laughs> it's little nose that comes out like this, which means it's really, really directional. It's like really closed and tight uh, in, in how it actually 
perceive sound, okay, or, or get sound. So the farthest to that is really close. Now, I want you to think of this kind of like a fan fanning out like this. So the more that I open it up, the more it fans out all the way to where it can go all the way in the round because it has two diaphragms, one in the front, one in the back, and it can handle the load all the way to omni, all the way around. So you've got super cardioid, which is far to the left. I only use that for singing really close and really intimate and airy vocals. So I want it to be real present and real up close. The next one is hypercardioid. I want to back it up. I want to add a little bit more room to the sound, okay? So I want to have more air and more space in the sound. I don't want it. So I might still be doing something mellow and, and gentle, but I want to have more of the room to have it have a little more sultry kind of sound to it rather than like whispering in someone's ear, okay? Then I might go to just somewhere between uh, hypercardioid and cardioid, which is really fanning it out quite a bit. So I can back off that mic and I can move around a lot and you'll never hear me move. So if you look at my videos, you say, that's impossible. He can't possibly be singing that because look at him moving all over the microphone. Well, actually you can, I do it all the time because you can open up the microphone like I'm showing you right now. I can go like this, I'm talking to you. Do you notice any difference as I'm moving around the mic and I'm moving off of it quite a bit, right? Well, that's because of the setting that I have it set to. So with that said, so there's that. Then there's a figure eight, which is exactly like it sounds. It opens up this way and it opens up this way. So I'm gonna show you a couple duets in the way this mic works with duets also and you can even adjust you know the the volume on one side or another the way you set it and I'm gonna show you that too so uh, you guys ask for it I'm gonna give it to you I know this is gonna be a little longer video guys but it's gonna be worth your time for you audiophiles out there that really want to know now um, I want to say one more thing too um, because I've used a lot of gear and a lot of microphones, um, less is more. We don't want to add a lot of effect. Uh, we don't want to try to make up for things digitally. What we want is a killer piece of gear that delivers over and over again and is full spectrum has you know the full spectrum of all the frequencies of what you want in a singer in this case singer but Neumann also they have a killer mic line and I'm gonna talk a little bit about it I won't get a time to do it all the day because I don't want to make this video too long but um, they also have other microphones that do other things for less money than this and so forth so we'll talk about that in a minute but with that said let's dive into here I go again from White Snake check this out and I'm gonna hold on for the rest of my days Cause I know what it means To walk along the lonely street of dreams Here I go again on my own Cool. Now what you probably heard was uh, as David sings the verses, the verses are kind of backed off a little bit, or as Ken sings David's verses, um, the verses are backed off a little bit, so they're a little bit more intimate, and then it goes full-blown into me singing the chorus pretty heavy, right? And for you guys that know me, you know me, I can sing really heavy, like Dio heavy, or even heavier, uh, like Chris Cornell really distorting his voice, you know, um, it, it, whatever, but I can sing really heavy. So um, if you notice, it handled all of the nuance and all of the little gesticulations of me singing, you know, all the tonal things that I want to get out of it in a lower register. And then when I went up, it didn't sound thin and, and really compressed, right? And I want to talk about speaking of preamps. So preamps are important. I'm not going to get too sidetracked on this, but I do want to mention one thing about the new Neumann preamp that's out there and the Avalon. And there's some other pre's out there. Preamps matter too. So yes, it's a killer microphone, but preamps do matter too. Let me explain this. So um, this thing, let's just assume this thing is like a big gas can, right? Full of premium gasoline, right? And if you have a preamp, so you got this big nozzle on the gas can, right? And the preamp itself has a small nozzle on it and you're trying to pour all this beautiful frequency into something with a small nozzle that can't handle it, you're gonna, your gas is gonna spill all over the place and you're not gonna get the benefit of that, you know, this big gas can with all this beautiful frequency and, and warmth and tone and clarity and pitch and pristineness of the mic. You're not gonna get that. So it's it's only going to deliver what the preamp can handle. So um, as you're going in with all this this thing, you're spilling gas on rather than glug, 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 into a nice, beautiful preamp. So, um, so I, it does work in concert with the two and in combination with that. And no, I don't use a lot of reverbs. I use a little, I'm very subtle on, on how much I use that. A little delay here and there, but a little reverb and delay, and that's it. Once in a while, I might actually, when I record my vocals, I might make a copy of that two times and I might offset it by like 
you know, a few frames on the left and then a few more frames on the right and pan it left and right to create a slight doubling effect where I don't, you know, I don't use any auto tune ever or anything like that, but I might do that just once in a while. I didn't use it here, but I, I, I will do that to thicken up the sound. Or instead of doing that, a lot of times I could just open up the mic a little more, stand back a little bit more, give more air to the mic and get a good room sound. So if you've got a decent sounding room, cool. If you don't, no big deal. You can close the mic down a little bit and you don't have to worry about that at all. And you can use some effects, etc. Try not to overdo it because you're gonna just ruin the, the beauty of the mic. So anyway, with that said, now I'm gonna move on to Bill Withers. Um, now this song is, uh, you know, Ain't No Sunshine. And the reason that I picked this song is I want you to hear the total warmth. Now this is me and I'm gonna move on to some of my students because this is gonna be important again same mic same preamp same rooms only thing changing are the voices and I want you to hear how how this handles and 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 literally uh, makes us all look good as singers right it's like a singing dream so and it's idiot proof no offense but it really like you can go do no wrong with this thing it's not like oh no I didn't get the right setting it's not gonna be perfect and I've had a lot of microphones where you have to sing exactly into the sweet spot of the microphone and if you move off that sweet spot you know you're screwed right that's not this mic so Bill Withers ain't no sunshine check it out wonder this time where she's gone Wonder if she's gone to stay Ain't no sunshine when she's gone And this house just ain't no home Anytime she goes away Okay, now I did close the mic down a little bit. I'm somewhere between super cardioid and hyper cardioid, so I closed it down for all of the intimacy and all the warmth of the mic. And you know, really straight up, I mean, you can hear precision crafted performance with this mic. It's like, it's so precise in any way you wanna set it up that you just heard the smoothness. It caught all of the tiny little nuances of things that I wanted in my voice. It just shows up in the microphone and for you guys out there that have been struggling for a long time going gosh I you know I can't even tell I want to add a little grid or I want some personality or character coming out of my voice and my mic just doesn't cut it this is the personality exploiter man and, and whatever you put into this thing it's gonna it's gonna make you look good <laughs> all right let's move on to the next tune I am the echo of your past. Okay, I chose Perfect Strangers by Deep Purple because it has a nice belted wailing thing and it also kind of showcases the Dio side of me and how I do it. So I can sing really light, I can sing really airy, I can sing really warm, I can do all these different things and this mic, it just handles the load, man. It's really cool. So uh, with that said, I'm gonna move on to some of my girls now and the reason I'm doing this again is I'm gonna show you very different voices, some of them very high pitched, some of them kind of airy and everything in between, but listen to how this microphone treats the personalities and characters of other voices as well. Check this out. Jane and Jane and Jane and Jane and Jane. Okay, that was a triple shot of Gabriella. That was Jane by Starship, Total Hold the Line, and Trooper by Iron Maiden. Now, Gabby can absolutely belt and wail. She's a contralto alto, and she can just really hit that mic with a lot of air. But instead of the mic getting all constricted and small, like you're kind of singing through a straw or a tube, a small tube, uh, the sound opens up into big, beautiful space. You get all this air and warmth around it. One of the things I can't stand about other microphones is when you hit it with a lot of air or a lot of frequency, they go, nah, I can't handle it, stop, I can't handle it. Right, whereas this, this this mic, on the other hand, goes, ah, bring it on, baby, bring it on, <laughs> right? And I'm telling you straight up, man, that's what's so cool about this sucker. Um, now let's check out something from Gabby that's just a little more mellow and intimate. Check this out. Where did you go when 
things went wrong, baby Who did you run to To find a shoulder To lay your head upon Strumming my pain with his fingers Singing my life with his words Killing me softly with his song Killing me softly with his song Telling my whole life with his words Killing me softly Okay, that was another double header that was Stay With Me Baby where you hear the mic handle the load on the low end nicely, right? So um, instead of, again, there's all of this dynamic range that you lose when you have other microphones that aren't large diaphragm like this, where if you're singing something low, it kind of almost gets lost in the mix and there's no real presence to the sound. And then when you go up, it kind of squeezes it off. And it, like I said, it's like singing through a straw or a tube or something. Well, if you noticed in Stay With Me Baby, you could hear all the warmth of the low end. And when she goes up to sing the chorus, bam, it's just it just handles the load, right? Then on top of that, when I moved on into uh, the next tune, um, you're noticing that you can do like an R&B thing and have it maintain all the warmth and all of the beauty and again, all of the character uh, and just all of, like, all of the gesticulations and nuances of Gabriella's voice in that as well. So it's not just one dimensional on one side of the microphone, but watch this. I'm gonna put a couple duets back to back. I'm gonna do one with Sarah. I'm gonna do Leather and Lace. I'm gonna do another one with Sarah, uh, which is ABC and Sarah sings very differently in both of these songs. So I want you to hear how well this thing can handle two completely different vocal sounds. Uh, and then we're gonna move into me doing a du duet, du duet, <laughs> yeah, du duet, with um, Tori, where I'm gonna do Shallow, uh, and then I might sneak one more duet in there if we have time. Check this out. But that time I saw you, I knew with you to light my nights, somehow I'd get by. Love us forever, face to face. My city on mountain, stay with me, stay. I need you to love me. I need you today. Get to me your leather, take from me my lace. I think as you can see, this mic is in a class of its own, unlike any other microphone. And that combined with a good preamp and some good technique, singing technique here at Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy. But before we leave, I promised you guys I'd talk to you about some other options of other Neumann mics, because this is really important. A lot of you are gonna say, wow, Ken, I looked it up and that mic is, there's a pretty good price tag on that mic. I can't afford it. Therefore, you know, I can't afford Neumann mics. Absolutely not true, not true at all. In fact, I had another client named Aliona. Uh, she's actually from Russia, so if you say you can't afford it, how much less could she afford it? She was living on some pretty small money living in Russia. She asked me my opinion, hey Ken, I can't afford that mic that you got, but um, I do have a little bit of money, been working hard, saving up. What would you recommend? Well, I would recommend their TLM series. I had her get a TLM 103. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple songs right now with her singing through that microphone, 
and I want you to hear the difference. And I mean hear the difference of Neumann compared to other microphones. So this is their uh, lesser expensive brand, the TLM series. All their mics are cool. The TLM 103 is what, uh, what um, Alion is singing into. So check out these clips with Ali with the TLM 103. Anything you want, we can make it happen. Stand up and turn around. Never let them shoot us down. I tell you straight up, Neumann microphones will unleash the power of your voice and put the fun back in your recording. I mean, who likes to struggle with recording, right? It's just gonna open it up like, wow, cool. Now, speaking of German excellence, I started off with saying, you know, German excellence and German integrity and, you know, all this. I've owned BMWs in my life and uh, they're an amazing car and their slogan is the ultimate driving machine. Well in like fashion with the same German excellence, if BMW is the ultimate driving machine, this is the ultimate singing machine. So gang, that's how I got to these crazy great killer vocal sounds and you guys can too if you want to just dive on in and check it out. So with that said, I put all the stuff in the description tag. Uh, I'll put all the little nuances. You can go through the videos and, and do yourself a favor. I mean, go through my channel. I've got a lot of examples of this where you can go through and go, wow, he's right. It's, he's using the same microphone, the same room, the same preamp and he's getting all these different sounds out of this bad boy. All right. Thank you for joining me guys. And until next time, God bless you and peace out.